So if you're one of the millions that has a Windows 7 PC and you're thinking to yourself, well, Microsoft just ended support for Windows 7, what do I do next? Well, you can upgrade your PC to Windows 10. I'm gonna show you how right here. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to take your Windows 7 PC or laptop and upgrading it for free to Windows 10. Now, Microsoft still has the option for you to do that, and it's a very simple process, although it might take some time. Now, the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and back up all the data on your machine, and uh, the best way to do it, of course, is either a portable hard drive or, or a thumbstick, depending on how much storage you have. This time, I'm using the Samsung T7 Touch uh, SSD. Now, the reason I'm using this is because I do like it. This is not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to showcase this drive. It's small, it's portable. It has a range of storage options up to about, I think, four terabytes. Uh, this also has a fingerprint sensor on it, which is great, which means your hard drive is protected. If it's lost or stolen, no one can access it except you. And it will accept up to four different fingerprints at the same time. Now, once you've gone ahead and you've backed up all your files on this device, you wanna go ahead and download the Windows 7 uh, upgrade tool. It's very simple and easy. The link for this is down in the description. So go ahead and use that. Uh, once you're there, you have the option on your page to download the tool, click the download now, and then go ahead and run the application. Uh, once the application actually comes up and you're running it, you have two options to either create installation media for another PC or upgrade this PC since you're doing it on the machine you want to. In this case, it is my Dell Latitude laptop. This is a pretty old laptop, by the way. It does have a DVD drive, although it does have a complement of ports here. So it's still a pretty robust laptop, I think, that you can use for a long period of time. Uh, so you click on the upgrade uh, this PC now option. And this will take you through a couple of prompts. So you have prompts to of course accept uh, the agreement tools and then you will go through an update process. So it's looking for updates of course for Windows 10 as well as also your machine that you have right there. Then you'll be taken to a prompt that says, do you want to keep your files or do you want to select the files you want to keep? Since you've backed everything up, you can go ahead and just click next. Once you've done that, then the true installation process begins. Uh, this takes some time. Uh, this took me about two hours in total. It could be longer than that. It could be shorter than that, depending on the machine you have, and also your internet connection. I was connected via Wi-Fi, so if you're hardwired in, uh, rest assured it should take a faster amount of time, but it took me about two hours. Once that goes through, you're gonna go through a couple of different prompts, which all you have to do is just hit next, uh, wait for it, and then the last step is an update, of course, for your installation process. Once it's fully installed, it takes you straight into Windows uh, 10. Now, if you don't have a sign-in prompt, you're gonna basically go all the way through, all to the, to the point where you have to accept or disallow your advertising ID. You can go ahead and select all those options and then it's gonna check for more updates and boom, you are into a Windows 10 machine. Your PC has gone from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And of course, when you go and check if this is activated, it is a fully activated machine. As long as your machine was activated as a Windows 7 machine, Microsoft will honor that and that the licensing key will transfer over. So it's a very simple process. It's very easy, it's fast. Uh, just a couple of things you need to do, making sure your data is backed up and secure, and also going all the way through with all the different prompts. If you have any questions, or any comments about this, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, uh, and always enjoy your entertainment.